Hi guys, welcome to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we're going to display the latest products using Metabox and Oxygen. Here is my example about the latest restaurant section. We're going to create one like this. Because the product is a custom post type, and to input information for the product, it needs custom fields, I installed Metabox Core plugin to have a framework to create them. It's free on WordPress.org. And, Metabox AIO, which is available when you have license of Ultimate Plan or Lifetime Plan, or Developer Bundle. With it, you have all the Metabox extensions as you see here, to have advanced features. If you don't have it, you can install individual extensions I'm going to show. In this tutorial, we need MB Custom Post Type and Custom Taxonomies to create custom post types. And, Metabox Builder to have a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. Make sure you've enabled them already. The last one is Oxygen. You should use the 3.9 version or upper, which has the native integration with Metabox. Now, let's start. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Then in the menu, you will see a new restaurant post type here. Now, create custom fields for your post type in Metabox. Metabox has more than 50 field types, so you can choose any type of field to input any data you want. We already have a video about all Metabox field types and each field's features so you can learn about each one. As for the status field, I enter the options for users to select here, like this. and do the same with the voucher field. After that, move to the settings tab, choose location is post type and select restaurant to apply these fields to this post type. Now, when creating a new post in restaurant, you will see the custom fields here. Just fill in the information. Now, we will create a section to show the latest products. I'm going to put it in this position on my homepage. The latest products section is a list of posts, so, I use the repeater component. In the list of options, choose query. To get all the posts from the post type that you want, choose custom. Then select the post type option. Search your slug of your post type here. In my case, it's restaurant. There's nothing displayed here. We will add some components to display each product's information such as name, featured image, status, and so on. First, go to the Featured Images component. And you will see all the featured images of the posts. To display the name of the restaurant, means the post title, choose the text component. Then, we need to connect this component to the post title to get dynamic data, so, click the Insert Data button. Choose Title in the Post section. Now, all the names of restaurants are shown here. For the address, we choose the text component as well. But, connect it to a Metabox field to get data. When you are inserting data, choose Metabox field instead of title, then all the custom fields created by Metabox will be here to choose from. Click one and the corresponding data will be shown. See, these are the addresses corresponding to each restaurant for other information such as status and voucher. Do the same. Cause the status is a select field, and we have two options when we set it up. So, when you insert data from this field, you'll see this setting to choose which kind of data you want to display. The left one is the value, and the right one is the label. Choose one and it will display automatically. It's the same with the voucher field. With the logo field, its field type is single image, so I choose the code block component to display it. Set this component as PHP and HTML, and add this code. This is to get the value of the logo field. And, this will display the image. Go to the home page. Here is the latest restaurant section I've just created. It doesn't look as good as I want, so I will style it in the next step. Before styling my latest restaurant section, 
I will add several additional components to rearrange all the components into a better structure. As you see the latest products section at the beginning of this video, when users hover over the featured image of the restaurant, a view detail button will appear. So I added a text link component here. I rename and link it to the post URL as well. Then, set classes for each. They will help in the next steps. Now all the elements of the post are displayed in the order as I want. But, I want this section to be a slider that I showed in the beginning. So, let's move to the next step. To do that, we need to add some CSS in JS. But instead of adding directly to the theme file, I will use an additional plugin my custom functionality plugin, so when I change the theme, it won't be affected. You can download this plugin from GitHub and install it on your website as I did. And, for the JS and CSS, I use the Slick library. It is also available on GitHub. As you can see here, there are several files. But, we just need three of them. Go to the folder of my custom functionality plugin, and upload them into the corresponding JS and CSS folders. Next, to set up the slider effect of Slick Slider, I'll create a custom JS file in the JS folder, and add this code. This is used to create a slider for the components in this class. And this slider will have the style of the Slick Slider library. This code creates a dynamic class based on the returned values of the restaurant's status in the section that I put in the status res class. If the returned value is open, the class will be open. If the returned value is close, the class will be close. Depending on the created class, I will have two different styles for the two statuses of the restaurant. After that, declare the JS and CSS files that we have just uploaded. Do it by adding this code to the plugin PHP file. Add it into this position. Now, go to the home page, your latest restaurant section has already turned into a slider like this. But it hasn't looked good yet, so, it's time to add some additional CSS. Back to page editor by Oxygen, in the manage section. Choose add style sheet to have space for you to add CSS. Here I use the classes which I set in the previous step as well as the classes auto generated by Slick Slider to style them. All the code I've uploaded into GitHub and put the link in the description of this video. Go to the home page now. Look, it displays beautifully. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try other methods, please watch our other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more tutorials. Bye.